Hello again, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly. So I have a couple of cars here to look at. So I'm doing this Peugeot Boxster. We'll get on to a different video. I've got air a Honda Civic. Okay, so this has got DPF issues. Uh, he's brought it somewhere, tried to have re force regen done, but they said force regen failed because there's too much soot in the DPF. Uh, so let's get in and have a look at what's going on. Okay, I'm in the vehicle now. The coolant level looks a slightly uh, a bit low from what I can see because it's literally just pulled up and he's driven sort of 30 to 40 miles to get here. DPF symbol red over there on the dashboard. Okay, I'm going to use this scan tool again. We've been asked to use it on a few different cars and see what what it can do. Uh, it's a Tink Scan 689BT model. I'll put a link in the video description down here where you can buy it through a link and you get a 10% discount. Okay, let's go. Do a VIN scan. Okay, now we're in. We're going to do a health report. Uh, yeah, we'll do a full health report. Okay, so the only fault codes we have are particle matter accumulation excess. So that's a DPF blocked, in other words, different translations on Honda cars. Uh, a few things to check on these, of course, is is your oil level above halfway on the dipstick. You need to keep it below half. So if you've got your full level here, minimum level here, it sort of needs to be sort of in the center. You can't have it too close to the full mark or it won't regen. Your AC needs to be working and engaging. So when we switch the AC on, we should hear the AC clutch engage. Okay, we can't see the AC pump activating, so we're just gonna test the pressure. You see we have zero pressure in the AC system. So there's no there's no, it's, there's no AC gas in it, we've got a leak in the uh, AC system somewhere. Okay, we're going to use Launch UK Smoke One detector. Remove the valve, or the tyre valve. We're just going to put some, some smoke into the system here, see if we can see a leak in the AC. Okay, now we're back in the car. We're going to go to data stream and search for differential pressure. And we're also going to look for the particle matter and the oil level. That one. Engine oil level and the filtering value. Back and press it so we got all of them up. Let's change the readings on this HPA, which is millibars. Okay, we have 36 grams of soot, 80 millibars of pressure, 85, and engine oil. I think is a little bit above where the where it should be. So we're gonna maybe drain some oil out. We'll check it on the dipstick. Uh, we'll clean the DPF down and we can't find any leaks in the AC system so we'll top that up. Okay we have the compressor hooked up, 120 psi, launch DPF cleaning fluid and the gun. That's hooked into the DPF via the pressure hose there and then we're just going to put, put the fluid in at 120 psi. We're doing this with the car running because the DPF sits quite close to the engine. You don't want to backfill it into the cylinders. We're just going to hold the trigger for a couple of minutes until all the fluid's gone in. And we should see a big decrease in pressure. Okay, we'll see some foam coming out. Okay, back in the car. 24 millibars of pressure. We're going to hold the revs up now for a couple of minutes. 
anywhere between sort of two and a half to three thousand RPM. Try and hold it steady there. And we'll just keep an eye on that pressure. Put some pressure into the AC and I can see that there's now sparks coming from the AC compressor. Okay, now we've turned off the AC so it's not causing any sparks. Just gonna hold the revs on it for a while, let the um, let the steam die down. So you see a lot of this sort of vapour because obviously it's a hot exhaust, we've got wet fluid in there. That's not that's not the um, you know the soot or the emissions coming from the car, it's just steam. A lot of people sort of think it's something else. Okay, so now idling the car we can see zero pressure. 3000 RPM, we have 32 millibars of pressure. And then we also have the calculated particle matter at 0 0.3 grams. Okay, now I've been testing the AC again. I've put the, the AC on, I'll just show you that. So we've got the AC on. It was sparking for a minute. I don't know if it was maybe sort of semi seized up where it hasn't been used for so long, uh, but the sparks have stopped. The AC is engaging and if we go in on, on these cars I've showed you in the past so if you turn the AC off and if we go into like special functions and trigger off a region I've already done it I've already tested it but basically when you t when you try to trigger a region it will tell you to switch the AC on and w when you hear when the car knows that the AC pump is engaged it will then try and do a region so that is working so I do know now the car is able to regen on its own because the pressure is now built up in the AC system. Why it was empty, I don't know. Uh, maybe something I have to monitor in the future, but obviously it's it's going to need a new AC pump. We can't get hold of one today. No surprise, it's a Honda. Um, but yeah, I think maybe sometime in the f maybe in the next couple of days we'll we'll have it back and uh, change the AC pump, and then at least we know car is going to be reliable okay so the fault codes haven't come back they've been cleared and we would normally reset the dpf values but we don't need to on this because obviously the soot load and everything's already come down so we are just about done so just to clarify I, I do assume that people know what's going on but a lot of people don't so just to clarify the cause of the dpf blocking on this car is going to be because the ac pump had no pressure now the AC pump's got pressure, we've got that working, we've cleaned the DPF down. As long as the AC is reading pressure, the car should now regenerate on its own. It won't need to be forcibly regened or forcibly cleaned anymore. Um, but it is going to need a new AC pump. Of course, we see some sort of sparks coming from it. So it, it, I wouldn't risk driving it around for too long. Okay, that is it. I'll see you on the next video.